Well, hello, hoes. How are you? <laughs> so we are going to have another episode. We're going to call it that. In my sexy videos. Yeah, that's what we're going to call it. My sexy videos. Now, these are the flirtatious sexies. These are the subtle sexies. These are, these are the ones where you're not trying to make it known what you're doing, but you're doing it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We all do it. You know where we want to attract somebody, but we don't want to be overt. We want it to be very subtle. And for them to feel like it was all their idea, you had nothing to do with it, like you were innocent in this. So this is the flirtatious, sexy, soft vibes. So I know we all need at least one or two of these in our collection. So don't go anywhere. See you in a minute. All right, so let's talk about these flirtatious fragrances, right? These are the ones that they don't project out too far, you know? They're, they tend to stay a little bit closer to you. Now, they'll last. They're just not going to project out to everybody. You know, it's going. They going. The person has to be close to you, and to catch the sexy, sensual nature of it. Now, here's the thing: it's not going to be like Dior Attic, or Oud After Dark, or Delina Exclusive, where it's like you know, it's in your face. Yes, I'm sexy. What? No, this is the more that will. They'll be around you, and then they'll be like, "But wait." It's like that it takes a few more minutes to catch on to how sexy this is. But it's in such a way that they don't know that's what you're doing. And sometimes a person needs to feel like they're in on a secret that even you are not aware of. I kid you not, especially men. So if they feel like they've caught on to something sexually suggestive, but it's not overt, they'll feel like, they're the only ones who've caught it and it'll make them feel special. I promise you, this is, this is true. So these are those fragrances. So now let's talk about a few. Got about 10 of them for you. Now we're going to start here with this one and the name says it all. This is Nikolai Parfums Kiss Me Intense. This is a beautiful powdery almondy, mm, just sweet but not too sweet and it has this almondy powdery vibe and it's very just kind of cozy sexy you know this that's why i got on a sweater y'all this is like cashmere sexy because this is a cashmere sweater you know it's just like very effortless sexy and so this is very effortless very elegant sexy very oh like they'll catch it and be like but wait a minute that that's real that that ooh, and it'll catch them without them knowing that you're catching them and that's what you want to do so this is kiss me intense beautiful powdery almondy just kind of sweet cozy vibe now i'm gonna leave this one to last because this is a serious one this is a serious one all right next up right here is going to be let's start let's go here because why not now this is it seems like it wouldn't be in this one, but it is. This is Goldia, the Romanite Absolute. This is a plum fragrance. However, it is not as deep and rich as most plums. It, there's a lightness to it, so it's a light, sexy. It's a flirtatious sexy. Not the in-your-face, because plum can be very deep and sensual and sensuous. Whereas this has that sensual vibe, but it's a very flirtatious, more subtle, um, and and less obvious than a lot of the plums I have. So this is Goldia, the Roman Knight Absolute. Now, I'm going to show you this one, but this is a different one. This is a flanker, not the original. Because people call it sexy, but I don't think the original is really all that sexy to me. But this one is. This is Lalique's Amethyst Exquise. They pull out some of the berries and add a little more floral to it. So this gives it a little more, 
uh, it's not as dark and juicy and berry it's got enough berries but then it's got this hints of beautiful floral in it i think it's orchid that gives it this very real just chill flirtatious vibe so whereas lalique amethyst it can be a little more rich and sexy this is more flirtatious and fun i i find this one a little more fun then we have let's see what we going with now y'all know i love this house y'all know i love this house and if y'all ain't bought all of the ones that you could buy buy one get one free don't complain to me about that there's some that you want and now you gotta pay full price this is dream house of curio and this is bees and butterflies as i've said i have waited for this fragrance and waited and it is a glorious honeyed floral and it is very flirtatiously sexy it is provocative and a little seductive but in a much more quiet genteel way so this is bees and butterfly it is beeswax it is honey it is jasmine it magnolia it is glorious next up is this one now this is brand new to me but i'm in love with it this is a latafa this is called yakina this is part of the asdaf but asdaf is part of latafa first off let's talk about this bottle this bottle is extra uh, extra 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 you will find out about all the latafas i bought recently and some other things i bought in my black friday cyber Mon cyber you know the black friday just spent some fucking money haul all right now i gotta say this bottle i love the, the the front of it it's just gorgeous um i can deal with the top but whatever but this is a slightly fruity very sensual floral it is a very flirtatious mm, very intoxicating I have to be honest, it vibes like good girl gone bad, but it is not good girl gone bad. But it vibes like that, that kind of good girl sexy. Definitely has that. It has Jasmine, has Yolan Yolan. Y'all know what I done told y'all about Yolan Yolan. Automatically, you know this is going to do some stuff to somebody. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, um, immediately I got, I was like, oh yes. And it's about the feeling it gives you. And these are the ones that give me that feeling like I'm flirtatious. Um, you know, I'm a little suggestive and I'm a little inviting, but not too much. Okay. So that is Yakin by, um, what's it called? Latafa. All right. Then we have this. This is Majestic Jardine. Now I know everybody is into cherry this was in my layering combinations but what this is is yes cherry is in and cherry can be very bold and seductive but this has the balance of cherry blossom which brings it down and makes it a tad more after you get off that purple that pepper note just a little more delicate yet very i've worn it and people were like oh my god you smell so good but very inviting very very flirty very just Feminine. So that is Majestic Jardin by Alexander J. Oh, I'm rushing through these. This is going to be a quick video. I'm feeling good about myself right now. Stop talking and get going. All right. Next up is Yalang in Gold by McAuliffe. Now, first off, I mean, first off, look at that. That says flirtatious. Now, this is a Yalang Yalang Vanilla and coconut gorgeous gorgeous girl she is serving the nation with this one just giving it up mm, mm, mm. yes so that's all i gotta say yalang yalang coconuts and vanilla and it is just inviting and and i won't, don't want to say flirtatious anymore i said that enough fascinating let's go with fascinating and a little suggestive in a very chill kind of way. All right, next up is this. Gotta have a vanilla. Probably need a spicy vanilla. And this is Nui et Confidence by Anique Goutal. This is a spicy vanilla. Not quite as spicy as 
<clears throat> Nishane's Ani, but it has this, and that's why I say this is the more flirtatious, because this sits a little closer to you. It's a little more subdued. The spice is there, but it's more refined and a little more sublime, you know, very swanky. It gives off a very swanky vibe. And so that is Nuit and Confidence by Anique Gutal. Now, I always say this is one of my favorites, and this is why. This is Bond Number no. 9's Chinatown. Now, I gotta be honest, I am not a huge Bond Number no. 9 fan. These bottles are ugly to me. I know people love these bottles, but they are hideous to me. However, this is such a beautiful tuberose. And the thing about this tuberose is that there's a delicate, like it, it makes you feel like it's very delicate. It is not one of my more in your face, really, you know, sex bomb tuberoses. This has a delicate nature to it. This is very much pencil skirts and, you know, crossed at the ankles while you sit there drinking tea at high tea and you know that the men that are there are going to be coming towards you and you're going to just be this queen bee that people are flocking towards you, but they, you know, but it's not like you're being overt. Like, come in, come in, Papa. No, it is, hey, you know what I'm talking about. And that is Chinatown by Bond number nine. Then we have this one. This is going to be surprising, but one day I wore it and I was like, you know, she kind of sexy, y'all. She kind of sexy. And I said, she is kind of sexy. And this is Love Mimosa by Amawaj. Now hear me out. You think Mimosa, it is this powdery, sweet floral. And it has that mimosa sweetness to it. But what happens is as it dries down, it just becomes very, very intoxicating. And just a very flirtatious vibe to it. Like when I put it on and I was like, hey, I said, wait a minute. Who am I today? Who am I? Now, I don't. The thing about this is that even though mimosa I think of as spring, this could definitely be worn right now in the cold because it's, it's such a strong player. You know, it's, it's got it's got some diva in it. So she going to do her thing and, and you know, rock the house. So that is why I said Amawaja's Love Mimosa is definitely that subtle, flirtatious, sexy. So that is Amawaja's Love Mimosa. I have another one. Hold on. Now, even though this isn't the most subtle, it is subtle for this line. This, this is Alien Goddess Intense. It has that alien jasmine DNA, which is already. We know that jasmine that alien jasmine is something. It is intoxicating. It is has an eroticism about it. But this is a toned down version of it. And then they add the vanilla. And this this is a really deeper, richer, still coconutty, but more rich, more buttery. Um, definitely delicious and definitely um, enticing right it will entice somebody it will bring them to you it will bring all the boys to the yard okay but it still has enough that it holds back on that you can wear this i'm just saying alien goddess intense boom now here's my last one Whew. this one right here is the reason why i made this video this is Francesca Bianchi under my skin. <clears throat> now, to be quite honest, Francesca Bianchi has a vibe that can that's slightly animalic. It comes off very sensual. She has a sensual vibe to quite a few of her of her fragrances. Under my skin, and this, I blame this and my new, my love of Francesca Bianchi now on Amina. Y'all know who I'm talking about. And like she said, when you wear this, male or female, it seems like it 
melds with your skin and becomes a sensual skin-like vibe. There's an animalic vibe to it, slightly ambery, kind of sweet, a very subtle, not too much floral. When the floral is just there, you know, it's just like a little supporter. It ain't doing too much, but it's more about the ambery, the powdery, this like deep resinous vibe that is not too much but like when you wear it it just feels like it hits your body heat and it becomes the sensual person that just lives inside of you but still not so pushing out that you know you being too much for people it's still it gives that off but it's that it the way it works and it lasts forever but it doesn't project out a lot but what it does do is like linger on the skin and just you know it's on you all day and so you you come off and it you know as you walk past there's a subtle just hint just a whiff of your glamour you know, this magical, glamorous vibe you're giving that has this, you know, erotic nature to it, but it's not just too much. So that is Under My Skin by Francesca Bianchi. I should I should start splicing these when I get off into one of these and go ahead and put it on my TikTok. And I think I am. But anyway, that is it, hoes. That is it, hoes. That is it for my subtle sexies, my flirtatious sexies. Y'all know what I'm about to say. Tell me some of yours. If you made it this far, tell me some of yours. I want to hear about them. Don't play with me. Don't act like, oh, no, I don't. Eh, eh, eh. You better tell me. All right. So that's it for your Lulu. Be bold. Be brave. Be fearless. Be free. This hoe is out.